Well, Rob, we discovered firefighters have been documenting the old broken system that was in place for almost a year. In some cases, crews missed an alarm or were late because it wasn't being broadcast over the house speakers. Now, the mayor and fire chief tell me firefighters weren't following standard operating procedure. Local station alert. The Omaha Fire Department shows off the digital alerting system now being installed in station 52 and 23. This is the latest and the greatest. Financed through a bond approved in 2016, the alarm upgrades are now starting to go in. For station 52, it's a long time coming. The old alarm system hasn't been working for months. A month ago, our investigation showed you the backup alarm, pop cans stacked on top of the 911 printer. Firefighters rigged this in case they missed a call on the portable radios they monitor. Medic 21, engine 23, medical alert alarm at a residence, a dispatch. We found in at least one case, engine 23 did not initially respond when called. On April 30th of last year, dispatchers had to call again, 23 seconds later. Engine 23, clear on the call. Engine 23, clear on the call. Engine 23, interrupt. And our investigation also revealed firefighters have documented missed or delayed calls and noted Station 52 made emergency requests to fix the system in October and November of last year. So this upgrade is more than welcome. When I spoke with Mayor Gene Stothard and Fire Chief Dan Olson last month about the pop can alarm, they said they weren't aware of any missed or delayed calls. Late this afternoon, we discussed that delayed call from last April. There is a backup that should have been followed. And if they follow the backup, they should not have missed the call. If they've missed a call because the fire station alerting system was down, it's because the policy wasn't being followed and maybe a night watch wasn't established, which should have been. Well, the chief tells me they are looking into why procedures might not be followed when calls come in. The fire department expects all 24 stations will be online with the new state-of-the-alert alerting system in about six months. Back to you, Rob.